Trent appears in social networks posts, during patriotic concerts in Russia, at pro-war rallies and even on clothing and cars. The letter Z has become one of the Kremlin's main propaganda tools in the war against Ukraine. I think symbols play uh, complex roles in politics. And one of the most important of those roles is to connect emotions to specific narratives that the Kremlin and other political leaders want to get out. And so I think in this case, a symbol like Z is meant to evoke in people emotions of patriotism, um, loyalty. The letters Z and V were first seen on Russian tanks mobilizing in Ukraine in the days before the invasion, but no official reason was given at the time for why they were there. One of the most common explanations associated the letters with the tank's military district, with Z standing for West and V for East. But in the first days of the war, Russia's defense ministry said the letter Z meant Zapobiedo for victory. That's when Russian authorities started using Z as a propaganda tool. Typography deals with the dynamics of these symbols, letters and numbers. It so happens that in Cyrillic, which is more relatable to Russians, there are almost no dynamic symbols. But in the Latin alphabet, there are three very dynamic letters, L, V and Z. They are easy to write and they are extremely dynamic. Promoting the letter Z, experts say, is also an attempt to create national unity. First and foremost aimed at the Russian population itself, right? Because like most important for the Kremlin is to not even necessarily mobilize support for the invasion, but it, to demobilize opposition. Experts say Russia's choice of the symbol is rushed and ill-considerate because of its similarity to a Nazi swastika. And for opponents of the war in Russia and elsewhere, the letter Z has turned into a symbol of Russia's aggression as opposed to the unity of Russians. New Nazi symbol. Very evil, very scary. Uh, Nazis, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's the first thing that comes to mind. It reminds me of the president of the Ukraine, Zelensky. Yeah. He's doing a fantastic job. He's wonderful. And I hope that's what it's reminding the people of Russia. For many, Z has become a symbol of tragedy and war crimes. French film director Michel Hazanavichus, whose comedy titled Z Opens the Cannes Festival this year, has to change the film's name to avoid any associations with the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Russians who oppose the war also don't want to link to with this symbol either. The bands DDT and B2 have refused to perform on stages decorated with banners sporting the letter Z. For VOA's Russian service, VOA News, Washington.